Hi guys. We're going to have some fun here, linear programming. And uh, first thing we want to do is put our name on. So uh, I'll put my name on here. Peanut Butter Tom. Okay. So we're going to do a uh, programming question. We're going to have to write some constraints to find our variables and graph a feasible region. Plug the vertices of that region into an objective function and uh, see what maximizes profit, I believe, in this one. So in this case, farmer has 320-acre farm, in which he plants two crops. So actually, that is going to be a constraint because you can't plant more acreage than 320. Okay, so there's a constraint right there in that... Uh, something the acreage has to be less than or equal to 320. All right, what else do we have here in this problem? Let's read through. Um, he's going to plant two crops, corn and soybeans. For each acre of corn planted, his expenses are $50. So he's going to have an expense constraint. Um, $50 per acre of soybean and, or no, corn and $100. So $50. For each acre of soybean, I just did the same mistake twice, silly me. Uh, for each acre of corn, and then over here, it's uh, $100 for each acre of soybean. It's 100 bucks. so there's another one. All right, so and that has to stay under, I believe, it says 20000 Okay, so let's put that down. We have the money, the money spent has to be less than 20000 and then there's this other uh, thing for storage for 19,200 uh, bushels. Okay, so he only has room for 19,200 bushels, so the amount of bushels that are stored has to be less than 19,200. And we got some coefficients here, so we're going to have to define our variables x. So let's say x is the number of acres of corn. Okay, try to be specific when you define these. And so Y would be number of acres of uh, soybean. And a lot of people, when they define these, they, they're not very specific. They would just be like acres, or they would just put corn. And, you know, I get it. I know what you mean, but you want to be specific so you can completely understand what's going on. So now, of course, the number of acres that they plant has to be less than or equal to 320 because that's how big of a space, how much land you have. The uh, cost you spend has to be, let's see, $50 for acre of corn. So that'd be 50x plus, I believe it was 100y. That has to stay less than or equal to 20,000. And the bushels, um, let's see, 40 bushels for soybeans, so that's 40y and 100 for each, wait a minute, yeah, corn, I'm reading backwards. So 100 bushels for each corn, so that'd be 100x plus, and then there'd be 40 bushels for each acre of uh, soybean. Okay, so there's three constraints there. Um, we also have the constraints that x is going to be greater than or equal to 0, and so is y. You know, that's usually one of the constraints. Um, usually we're not talking about negative quantities of stuff. So we have our variables defined. We have our constraints listed. Now we need to go ahead and try graphing this. <clears throat> now when we graph it, it's going to be, there's going to be some big numbers coming here. So we got to find our intercepts. So let's go ahead and take a few minutes to find our intercept. Um, how many 50s go into 20,000? Okay. Well, 250s is 100, right? And so how many hundreds go into 20,000? Well, 10 goes into 1,000. So what are we looking at there? 200 times 50, is that going to give us 20,000? 200 times 5 is going to give me 1,000. And you add another 0, and you would get... 20,000, I believe. Of course, that's going to give you 
but there's two for every one, so it's actually going to be, what, 400. 400. So we're going to have an x-intercept here of 400. And then how many hundreds are in 20,000? Okay, so take 20,000, divide it in 100, and that's going to give you your 200. So 0, 200 will be my other. That looks kind of crappy. Let's go over here. 0, 200 will be your y-intercept. So we got to get all the way out to 400 so far in 200. And then for the x's, this is going to be a little bit dicier, but 19,200 divided by 100 is going to give us 192. And how many 40s go in there? Well, let's see. 19,200 divided by 40 is going to give us 480. So there's my intercepts. Um, the top one has intercepts of 320, 0, and 0, 320. Okay, so now I need to graph that. So I need to get all the way to f almost 500. So I'm going to try to make, I think I can get by with making each square worth 50. If I go, let's see, 50, this is going to be 100. That's going to be 200, 300. 400, 500, that'll work. And then up here, I'm going to go 100, 200. So if I go by hundreds, I should be good. And you can use a you know big sheet of graph paper and go by hundreds as well there. So we can do that if you want to if you want to do that. All right, so let's graph this here. Um, I'm going to color code these lines just to try to keep things straight. So let's say uh, this first one here, this top, let's call this number one. That's the blue line. Uh, the middle one will go number two. That's the cost line. And then we'll do the green line will be the bottom one here, number three. Okay, so let's graph the blue one first. And, you know, this is going to be kind of an approximation graph because we're not going by ones. So each of those intercepts will be 320, yeah, 320. So that's going to be somewhere probably right, you know, in there. In there, somewhere like that. And I'm just going to freehand my best line up there, a little curve, no big deal. All right, and then everything's going to be below that line. So we're talking about below there. Okay. Uh, the next one, the purple line, is going to have intercepts 400 and 200. So 400 all the way over to X, that's going to be over here, and 200 up here. Okay, again, I'm just going to freehand this, so... If you have a ruler, it's easier. I don't have a big giant ruler on my smart board, so I, it's just kind of harder. I could use the line tool, but it takes too long. All right, below that line as well. So now we got kind of this little quadrilateral looking area. <clears throat> and let's see about the uh, other line. Let's see, we got 192 for X. This is going to be the green line. This is the bushel line. So 192 for X, that's going to be like right there. And then for Y, we go all the way up to 480, which is like all the way up there. So now we're actually all the way up there. we got to be below that line. So actually that blue line didn't even matter. But I guess you never know that. So now our feasible region is right under here. It's right in there. Okay. So we have vertices that we need to find. So... Our vertices of our feasible region are there, 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 and there. Okay. Well, we know three of those four just because they were the x and y intercepts, but this one in the intersection is going to be a little more difficult. So I know this one right here, I have this one right here is going to be uh, 0, 0,200, or no, 0, 0,192. All right. And then, of course, 0, 0. And then this one over here was 200, 0. So we have 200 and 0. And then, of course, we have 0, 0. Usually that's not going to maximize anything. And then we have that other one that's kind of unknown yet. We don't really know what this one is right here. Okay. How do I find that one? Anybody know? How would you find that one? A lot of people just kind of look at the graph and they just kind of guess and just ballpark it, but 
you know that's not going to be accurate enough so how are we going to how do we find the intersecting point of two lines hmm oh i know put them into a system of equations and solve for x and y so that would be the purple line and the green line so that's going to be the the ones with the big coefficients so 50x plus 100y equals We'll just make it equals because I want to know the intersection, so equals 20,000. The other one is 100x plus 40y equals 19,200. <laughs> nice. One extra zero there, Mr. B. Okay, there we go. So I can solve that using elimination method. I multiply the top one by negative 2. Okay, then I'm going to get negative 100x, negative 200y, and negative 40,000. Okay. That gives me elimination on x. Negative uh, 160y is equal to, and what's this going to be, negative 20,800. <clears throat> Okay, well, what do you get when you divide 20,800 by 160? 20,800 divided by 160. 130. So y is 130. So I know right there that y value is 130. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what do I get for x there? Well, take that 130. Put that in either equation for y. Probably just put it in the top one there. So 130 times 100, okay, and then we're going to take that, we're going to subtract that from 20,000, so we take 20,000 minus that, we get 7,000, so right here we have, if I solve that or whatever, I'm going to get 50x equals 7,000, so then divide that by 50. And you get 140. So 140 and 130 is that one vertice that we just, it wasn't real easy to find that intersection. So now we got to take those vertices and maximize or minimize, which looks like profit. So my objective function, the whole objective here was to maximize profit. And the profit, you get 60 bucks per acre of corn, big bucks, and 90 bucks, woo, 90 bucks per acre of soybean. Probably totally realistic. Take those values, plug these values in. I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to make any money on that. Okay. 200 times 60 is going to be what? 12 grand or something. 200 times 60, we're going to make 12 grand here. All right. Uh, 192 times 90 is going to be 17,280. Okay, that's bigger. And then 140 times, what do we got? 60. Oops. 140 times 60 plus, hopefully my calculator follows PEMDAS, 90 times 130 is going to give me $20,100. Winner. Ding, 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 ding. Winner. So the one that maximizes the profit is going to be 130 acres of corn, or 140 acres of corn, 130 acres of soybean, and so that is your, you know, your final answer down here. That's what we're looking for. It says 100 and can't read that. 140 acres corn and 130 acres soybeans. All right. Wow. Under 15 minutes. Not bad. So there you have it. Those are the fun, fun linear programming problems. Um, if you want a bunch more, ask for me. I got a bunch of these. We can give you some more practice. All right.